Hello everyone, JC the Builder here. This morning I received a very interesting message that there was a topic on Stratix U-Haul that I should check out right away. So as you can see, we're gonna be looking at some browser pages here. So let's go over and take a look at the U-Haul. And let's scroll down a little bit. Whoops. Uh, the first topic, can Haror have a lump, bit of a boot bump please? Well, that's certainly something I'd be interested in, but I don't think that's what they were talking about. Next topic, Halloween trick or treat. Mm, that's probably not what they were referring to. How many wikis do we need for UO? Now, this is definitely something that could lead to some drama. And let's go inside and take a look at what is being said. So, Pooh started this topic on Stratix last night. How many wikis do we need for UO? UO has the official wiki. UO.com has an official wiki now. UO guide has been falling behind, which is definitely true. It hasn't been updated much in the last few years. How many do we need? There's too many, blah, 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 blah. And uh, Nexus replied, site administrator. It's a very good reply. Um, he says they're launching their Stratix wiki soon and it's gonna be great and Stratix is trying to improve and stuff like that. Uh, one thing here he mentions, there's 115,000 pages into building one. Uh, Yule Guide has been in the works for over 10 years now and we just were like between seven and 8,000 pages. So that's a little hard to believe that they've got over 100,000 pages of content. But we'll see what it is when it launches. And then the next reply, any chance your guide can merge with your Stratix? So now the, the, the cat is out of the bag. Let's see how the responses come from the Stratix staff. And then this guy is saying, why aren't people just commute? contributing to your guide instead of making another wiki on their own. And then uh, Captain Norrington comes in here. No, that option was explored with JC the Builder during the fundraiser to buy the site last year and basically we were told it will never happen unless we agree to make him the sole owner of the site or the head board member or something along those lines. Now what he says is basically true. We did talk about it and I said the only way that I would merge content with Stratix would be if I was the owner of Stratix because as you'll see in a little bit when I go over some other stuff that's happened in the past there's a lot of concerns with where it could lead and stuff like that so but we also talked a bit about sharing content and stuff like that and I was open to that but after the January after the the sale happened and stuff like that there's basically been no communication between your guide and Stratix, so I haven't heard anything on that front. So, and then the um, his second part here, I can't blame him for that, honestly. He has spent so many years building your guide that essentially losing control over it by giving it to us wouldn't benefit him at all. That statement, wouldn't benefit him at all, really irks me, as we're going to go over. At the same time, though, we are going to make anyone, we weren't going to make anyone the sole owner since that defeated the whole point of the fundraiser and having a head board member who could overrule the rest of the board would make that pointless as well. I, I, this might come as a shock to some people, but UO Guide leadership was set up so anyone could rise, pretty much anyone could rise through the ranks and several people did and they became like de facto owners of the site and could make decisions, uh, could make widespread decisions on site direction and stuff like that. Uh, Cogniac, Tankred, Red Star. I'll look at I'll look at the uh, staff page on your guide. But um, since I'm really the only active staff member right now, that uh, that's that sort of has sort of dissolved at this point. But the your guide has always been in the hands of the community. And let's go through the rest of the responses here. Um, this other response uh, from Captain Dorrington, the wiki is going to be different than your guide, by the way. Um, so we'll see how that is. I have no idea what he's talking about since I haven't seen it myself, but we'll see it when it launches. I guess they're going to launch um, at the end of this week. And then Nexus comes in here 
and he says, well, there were some ethical issues with the old guide from our standpoint. I did ethical issues with the old guide. I primarily there's not license governing the information on it, meaning legally JC has full ownership of it. He has used he can use it commercially if he chooses, block other sites from using the information, etc. We're releasing everything under the Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Share Alike 4.0 license meaning anyone on the site with a compatible anyone on a site any site with a compatible license will be free to able to reproduce and redistribute this information as long as they comply with the conditions of it this way the wiki becomes not just a resource but an asset for the UO community and i would argue your guide has is an asset for the UO community and has been for over 10 years now and communities of any other titles we support in the future as this information can be repurposed with the scope of the license freely and continually on any number of sites. So um, his point here that um, there's not a license governing your guide is completely false. So let's go over to your guide right now and take a look. If you go down to the bottom of the page, every page has a link to the privacy policy. And for the general information on the privacy policy page, uh, yourguide.com will not se sell, rent, trade any personally identifiable information to any other website, which we have not. And the second sentence here, all information published by users becomes the shared property of the author and yourguide.com. Information and images found on yourguide.com should not be published on other websites without permission of either the author or yourguide.com. It's important to note that is not an and statement. Either the author or yourguide.com can freely give away information that's posted on your guide. So if the author decides they want to put their information on other websites, that's fine. And your guide can share it with anyone. If you ever wanted information, you could always request it. Or if you just go and repost it, I've never told anyone to take down information that they've posted otherwere from your guide, unless, unless it was like, a there was a couple sites that completely copied the your guide and put it up and I requested they take it down. I don't think they ever did. So, um, so that's not true. There's sort of a license and this issue was actually came up, uh, a long time ago, um, with a, a Yule guy, with a Strive staff member, they were pointing out, I said, well, you could always come in and help sort out the license if you want to flesh it out more with your guide. But, um, this license information has been there since the site was created. If you go to the view history, this is the current version, but if you go all the way back to the original version, this, this information was here and before anyone says I could have added this in afterwards at some point even this morning if you go to archive.org here is the November 2006 one it's the exact same it's the exact same that it's, it has always been there so this license has always been in place and the what Stratic staff is saying is just completely not true in regards to the license it might not be some big fancy license that is paragraph after paragraph of different things, but I think it explains it pretty well that it's just very, I can't, uh, I can't post on Stratix. I respected them and not, I, well, respected them. I didn't make a new account, but I haven't made a new account. And so I can't respond on Stratix. So the only thing I'm doing is making this video and some other information. So, so there's, that's refuting that. And then this other part here where Captain Norrington was saying, um, I can't blame him. He spends that uh, wouldn't benefit me at all. Well, you know what, Captain Norrington, there is some serious concerns with how Stratix has conducted itself. And I'm about to go over that right now. Um, in this February 25th, 2010, I received an email Hey JC, well met. I'm just curious if you would like to port your site over to Stratix and we would have us host it. You could remain in control of it and it would be listed in its own section and it would, of course it would be free for you. I think combining our two forces could allow us to do some real good for the community. Let me know if you want to ex explore this idea further. By the way, this is posted on the, um, this is the staff forum before we had the forum on the official site. I had it on the Yo Atlantic site. 
uh, for the strat uh, the old guide staff. So uh, I posted this message as I did for pretty much all communications um, that I received personally on the staff form. I just said I'm going to decline his offer. Uh, Cognac, one of the site de facto owners at the time. Um, although I wouldn't say that you guys direct competition with Stratix, we do have decidedly different culture. Um, and and then he adds this edit. I just reread the phrase, and of course it would be free for you, and realized how fiendish that statement actually is. Of course it would be free for us. It would not only remove Stratix's main and only legitimate competitor, it would absorb all that competitor's work and subsequent paid views and give Stratix benefits for basically no cost. So when Captain Norrington says that I wouldn't benefit it at all, well, it looks like Stratix was trying to benefit from what Yule Guide members have built over the years. Yeah, it seems all he wants is the content Yule Guide to fill out the stuff on Stratix that is, that is out to date. If Stratix is up to date, more people will visit, which means more money. I noticed they changed the menu to be wider conveniently. They add some advertising. Um, yeah, so they, we're basically talking about how he's going to make more money off it. Uh, I'd make another post. Stratix was mostly by volunteers, and Stratix was worth millions of dollars back in 2000 or something when they, they were literally making over 10000 a month in advertising. Um, so anyway, that's that thread. And then, all right, so this is, this is February 25th, 2010. Now we go to another topic, May 19th, 2010. Well, it didn't take long for that guy to sell out Stratix. Good thing I didn't take their offer to host the old guide. Can, can you believe that? This guy wanted to merge with the old guide so he could pump up the price of Stratix, of a Stratix sale. This is when TNG bought Stratix. Yeah, it was surely the feather in the cap for their asking price. And then this was, um, if anyone remembers the old out of control off topic form, they freaked out and deleted it over the sale. Let's see here. Yeah, they should inspect their purchase. Oh, and then, um, and then if anyone remembers when someone, one of the staff members hacked Stratix or something and put malware on their site, and then it was giving it all over the place, and then Stratix was trying to cover it up at that time. There's just so much stuff that uh, happened in the past. And then, um, what's this other one here? And then, oh, so that was um, May 19th, T TGN by Stratix. And then Nexus was talking about they've been working on a wiki for two years. Stratix has been working on a wiki for longer than two years. They even had one up at, at some point. Here's the, um, the archive of it and what it looked like at that time. So they had a wiki there, but I think they just discontinued it at some point. But anyways, uh, this is basically my response to this ridiculous thread that's come up. I've um, basically kept off of Stratix the whole time. For some reason, we're not getting along at all. And more and more, they're trying to paint me as some kind of villain for some reason, when all I'm here is doing what I'm doing, like I'm trying to get more people active on Atlantic, I'm trying to increase interest and participation on Atlantic events and do all these things not at all related to your guide at the moment and it's just non-stop that Stratic staff member was saying that I was trying to bully him into getting his information on your guide. They're saying that the licensing is suspect and I can basically profit off of your the content on your guide which is ridiculous I've invested so much money into your guide and into Stratix I made that donation that pushed it over the top so the community quote unquote community could buy it back air quotes and what is that honestly what 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 progress has been made over the past almost year now since the sale happened they're going to launch the the wiki next week, and we'll see what's going to come of that. But I, do, I really don't feel good bashing on Stratix like this, but I feel it's important that I make a response because this is 
something that can turn into something else. And honestly, I, I just don't get it why, because I used to have a great relationship with Stratix. We used to exchange content and stuff so many years ago, and it has just gone completely down the toilet. And I have tried my best to work with Stratix, and I am just getting, it's just like banging your head against the wall for some reason. I don't know, I don't understand. Even Stratix members that were, I was talking with and we seemed to have a good relationship earlier this year, uh, that has completely gone cold at this point and I, I just don't understand it, what's going on over there. I just want to make you all as great as it can be and have, make people have a lot of fun and that's what has gone on with Stratix. That's why I am extremely reluctant to have anything to do with giving up control of your guide because who is going to complain on how your guide has run for the last 10 years? No one has any complaints. The site has always been, it's, it's, it's always been there for the last 10 years. It's been reliable. It's been full of information. And it's just unfortunate that the amount of people contributing has dropped off over the years and the staff members have gone on break or left UO and right now I'm the I'm the only well I'm not I, it's it's awkward to call myself the only staff member because I'm not really active in updating the site the site is sort of directionless at the moment I've practically begged people to come and help keep the main page updated and stuff like that but completely in the hands of the community where the direction of your guide goes and I would argue that it's not in the hands of the community where the direction of Stratix goes. Anyways, as I said, this is not a topic I really want to talk about and I can't believe I just spent about 18 minutes talking about it, but I thought it was really important to make a response to this and refute these ridiculous statements. So. Next videos hope to be more lighthearted, including the event and maybe some other stuff. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.